It is Raining Ravens back with another Raven broadcast. And in this video, I am showing you guys how to set up the Baltimore Ravens depth chart in Madden 17. Uh, last year when Madden 16 came out, I had made a very similar video uh, showing you guys how I like to have my roster set up uh, pretty much. It's a very unconventional approach, but it will translate into a lot of wins. So here we go. Madden 17, new game, new year. I'm going to show you guys how I have my roster set up. So first step is to go into settings. Um, these are using the updated rosters from day one. So these are the day one rosters. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and download them. All right. Then you you're, you're going to go over to manage players. Okay. And pay very or not manage players. You go to order depth chart. Uh, pay very close attention to what I'm about to do. Uh, because, like I said, it's a very unconventional approach. Uh, I'm going to put some line linebackers on the line, um, something that you won't see people do in the game. I mean, you see the Ravens do it in real life. They take Terrell Suggs and Doomerville, put them at defensive ends. We're going to get into all of that, and trust me, it's going to generate a pass rush like you won't believe. So step one, we got to we got to figure out the quarterback situation. Quarterback situation is good. You want Flacco first. Mallet second, and Josh Johnson third. Moving on to running backs. We're going to have four set. I'm actually going to put Terrence West at the second spot and go with Buck Allen third. Moving on to fullback. The choice is easy there. We're going to go with Kyle the Juice Box Use Check. All right, wide receiver. It gets really interesting here. This is kind of a personal preference. Uh, this is how I'm going to have mine set up, uh, and you're welcome to set it up the same way. Uh, I like Steve Smith Sr. at the number one spot. I'm going to move Perriman up to the second spot, making my second receiver. Um, and then Kamar Aiken third, Mike Wallace fourth. Um, I think that's that's going to give us a lot of speed out there. you got to have Perriman out there because look at that 95 speed. That's going to keep the defense honest because they know at any given time you are ready to take the top off of that defense. Uh, moving on to tight ends. I am actually not going to start Benjamin Watson. I'm going to start uh, Dennis Pitta, which I pray to God he stays healthy this year for us. Uh, ben Watson, he can stay second. We're going to go, actually, we're going to move up. Now we're going to move Crockett Gilmore up and make him our third. And if needed, we can use Max Williams fourth. Again, these ratings could change at any given time. These are the day one rosters. Uh, and I'll probably at some point come out with a more updated video uh, as more roster updates come out because these overalls are going to change. Uh, okay, so now we're moving on to left tackle. Our number one draft pick. You got to start him. You got to start him. Uh, backed up by John Urschel uh, and then Alex Lewis. Left guard. Um, we're going to go with, no, that's a tough one, uh, but I'm actually going to put in uh, John Urschel as a starter, backed up by Vladimir Dukas. Again, personal preference, uh, I've been rolling with this lineup uh, since Madden 16, and it seems to be working for me. So, uh, left guard is set, center, one of the best to do it right now, Jeremy Zetta, let's keep him in there, backed up by Jensen, perfect. Right guard, the best in my opinion, right guard in the entire league, Marshall Yonda. So he gets the nod at number one, backed up by Urschel and Jensen. And when I say backed up by Urschel and Jensen, these guys, the two and three guys, they barely ever come into the game. These offensive linemen don't get very tired in the game, therefore they don't get subbed out enough. So don't worry about it, as long as you got your number one guy set to Marshall Yonda, you should be good to go. Uh, almost done with the offensive line. Right tackle, we're going to go Rick Wagner, uh, backed up by Alex Lewis and Ryan Jensen. Um, left end, here's where things get interesting, guys. Um, the, by default, it's Timmy Jernigan. Okay, I'm not hating on him, but watch this. If I scroll down, let me uh, actually get the stat here. Uh, Doomerville, he's sitting right here. Check this out. Uh, where's it at? Look at that. 96 finesse move. 
Look at, this. Look at these guys. They got 66, 79, 61. Dude, if you have Doomerville on your line, he's going to fly right through. No problem. It's going to generate a pass rush like you wouldn't believe. So, but these guys are starters. See, they're starters in the linebacker. So, uh, what you got to do is you have to actually go over to the linebackers first and move them out of the way. So, let's demote Doomerville for the, for the time being. Demote him completely. Um, say, do the same thing on the right side with Terrell Suggs. Demote him. Okay. Now, we go back to our left end. I told you guys, it's going to be really finicky, so follow along. So now we move up Doomerville and make him our number one left end. Then we're going to back him up by Jernigan and Bronson Kafusi. Okay? Next, right end. This is where Terrell Suggs is going to live. And why Terrell Suggs at, left, at right end? Well, simple. I'll show you. So, uh, Doomerville had a finesse move, but Terrell Suggs has a power move. So you literally, depending on what kind of system you run, I run a 4-3, but you literally have a monstrous pass rush all game long. You got Terrell Suggs coming through the line on one side and Doomerville coming through the end on the other side. It's going to be a pass rush like you cannot believe. It's actually the lineup they use in real life. So. Uh, for all you sim gamers out there, you're going to love this lineup. Uh, we're going to back him up by Lawrence Guy. And third is Kafusi. Let's move over to the defensive tackle. Brandon Williams, that's a no-brainer. Uh, we're going to go Willie Henry second, Carl Davis third. That works for me. Now we're going to go over to the linebackers. Uh, you see we demoted Doomerville, but we got to get that spot replaced. Uh, middle linebackers, um, we got plenty. We got plenty. Like I said, this is a day one roster. A lot of these guys aren't going to make the team. Uh, but for the uh, for the day one rosters, we're going to leave C.J. Mosley as the middle linebacker, uh, the starter, that is. Uh, left outside linebacker, uh, I kind of want to do, um, I, as, as tempted as I am to bring in a middle linebacker uh, and make him play left outside linebacker, I think I'm going to give the nod to Zadaria Smith. Uh, for that speed rating, and he's also got um, he's also got really good acceleration. So we're gonna give him that spot. We're gonna give him that spot. Uh, right outside linebacker, um, Chris Carter. That's a solid move. Again, the speed. I mean, this guy's gonna be able to keep up with tight ends. Both him and Zedarius. So. I think that's a good lineup right there. You got the middle linebacker, it's solid with CJ Mosley and his two supporting casts at the right and left outside linebacker positions. They're good to go to. Moving on to cornerbacks. Jimmy Smith, he's gonna be number one. I'm gonna move Kyle Arrington to number two. Uh, Will Davis, I'm actually gonna move him up. And he'll, build, he'll be our main nickel back. Um, and then we'll bring Gerard Powers and Sharice Wright. So there is my lineup as far as cornerbacks are concerned. Okay. We're almost done. Free safety. Our newest acquisition from the San Diego Chargers. Of course we're going to use him. Eric Weddle. He's going to be number one. Uh, and I'm actually going to back him up with uh, Kendrick Lewis. So this lineup's actually all set and good to go. Uh, strong safety. I am not going to start Ladarius Webb, believe it or not. I'm going to start, I don't even know if he's on this list. Ah, there he is. Terrence Brooks. Ratings aren't everything in this game, guys. Number one, believe that. It, ratings do not matter as much as you think they do. Don't look at that 68. I know it's tough, but try to look past that because he's an incredible player. Look at that 91 speed. Um, for those of you guys who love playing as a safety, you're going to love playing with Terrence Brooks. This guy's a playmaker through and through. Um, so, I have him starting, um, backed up by Ladarius Webb. Ladarius Webb, for those of you guys who know, used to be cornerback and is now a safety, or a safety in transition. Um, Matt Elam is nowhere to be found. Kickers, that's really easy. You got one choice, aka Legatron leaving Justin Tucker. Punter Sam Cook, one of the best in the business also. K 
kick return, this is all personal preference. Me personally, I like to start Kalen Clay, but uh, since we're starting a game brand new, I'm going to give Michael Campanero the nod uh, as the main kick returner and punt returner. So there you go. Uh, in just over 10 minutes, I have explained and showed you guys how I set up my winning formula, my winning roster uh, for Madden 17. Like I said, I'm going to make more and more videos like this. So this is just a day one. This is the day one uh, roster setup for the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, as we get through preseason and through the regular season, a lot of these ratings are going to change. Um, I'm going to be moving people up or down, depending on those rating changes. Um, but yeah, that's my starting roster. Feel free to go back, rewind, pause the screen, set up your roster exactly how I have it. And let me know how it works for you. Hit me up on Twitter. Links are all in the description. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know how strong this uh, pass rush is. You know, your opponent's going to feel like you're nano blitzing him all day, but really it's just a monstrous pass rush that really no offensive line can stop. All right, so I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, this is Raining Ravens out. Jesus bless all you guys, and go Ravens.